Hi, my name is Catherine Dyke and I'm a researcher at the University of Nottingham. And what I'm really interested in finding out is more about this link between tics and exercise. So we know that a lot of people report reductions in their tics when they exercise and for a period of time afterwards, but we really don't know why that might be. So what I'm doing at the moment is using some brain imaging methods and looking at the brains of people with Tourette syndrome both before and after they do a short period of exercise. So we're interested in really finding out what the differences are here and how this might link to changes we see in tics. I'm also interested in looking at different kinds of exercise to see if these also have a sort of impact on what we might see. A few years ago, researchers at the University of Nottingham were able to show the link between exercise and tic reduction. So what they did is they got people to do short periods of exercise, so one of them was kickboxing, and they found that when people with Tourette's were doing kickboxing, their tics were significantly reduced. And this was also reduced afterwards as well, so there was a bit of an effect that carried on even once the exercise had stopped. They also found reductions in tics during an exercise called Tai Chi, which is much slower and involves movements and stretches and is a bit similar to yoga. But this wasn't as strong as the kickboxing, so people's tics did reduce, but they didn't reduce quite as much. So what we think this means is that the type of exercise that people do is really important. So it might be that for some people with Tourette syndrome, doing something that raises the heart rate a little bit more, so something like kickboxing or running, for example, might have more of an impact and more of a reduction in tics than something that does a little bit less to your heart rate, so something a bit more calming. But of course, this will depend on people's levels of fitness, how stressed or happy they feel during the exercise, and also how long they exercise for. Over the four years that I've been working with people who have Tourette syndrome, I've been told about lots of different activities that people find helpful. So these have often been sports, so things like horse riding, boxing or rugby has been particularly helpful in managing tics and sometimes reducing them. It's important to say though that not everyone finds that exercise reduces tics. So some people might say that certain types of exercise actually re increase the amount of tics that they have. Now, we're not exactly sure why that might be, and the science is slowly catching up. But in the meantime, what I would suggest to anyone who has Tourette syndrome, who is thinking about using exercise and seeing if it does impact on their tics, is maybe to try a range of different things. So it might be that some sports are better than others at reducing tics for different people. This isn't that surprising because everyone is very individual, everyone has their own likes and dislikes, and Tourette's syndrome is a very complicated condition with lots of different brain areas involved. So what I would recommend is going out there, trying maybe some team sports if you like, and trying some individual sports as well and finding something that you really enjoy doing. So we know that physical exercise, anything that gets you moving and active, and that you enjoy, has massive benefits to your physical health and also your mental health. So there's nothing really to lose by getting out there and giving it a go.